Here is another example of an orchid that is in an opaque pot. I don't know what's going on with the root system. Can't lift my orchid out of the pot to have a look-see if everything is stable and fine in there. But I would like to know if it is okay to repot her. So here's what I do prior to repotting with all my orchids, whether they are in this current stage or not, because this is pretty obvious. You don't have a clear pot, can't see your roots growing, can't see if there's any new root tips growing, even if nothing is growing on the surface of the pot. Here we have a very, very obvious example. We've got new root growth. That means we can repot this orchid. We've got backup. The new roots will take over in case we do too much damage to the old root system. Even though this orchid has another lead, that lead has as yet to start producing new roots. That doesn't matter. As far as I can see, this is go time because I'm seeing new roots on the surface of the pot. But there's other things that you can do. And one of them, of course, is take out the pot, whether you see the roots or not, and you give it a good squeeze. And if there is absolutely no flex <laughs> in the pot, in the sides, anywhere, if it is rock hard like this one is, well, it's hammer time. That's all I can say because getting this orchid out of this pot with squeezing the pot is not an option. But a repot will happen. So to assess what is going on in your pot, if you cannot see the roots or you are toying with the idea of getting into opaque pots and get away from clear containers, if your pot is rock hard and there is no flex in it, Yep, it's time to repot because there's roots in that pot, they're squeezing out all the air, and there's no space for any new roots to fill in any kind of crevices, which would probably end up in roots just starting to circle around the surface. Right, so we have our confirmation, we've got new roots, and the pot is rock hard. We can check it another way, see what happens. When we fill up the orchid with whatever solution that we like to pre-soak our pots with, in my case, it is seaweed and cow mag, so that the roots in the pot will at least absorb some nutrients before we put this orchid through a repot stress. Now, we saw bubbles. That's great because that means either we have some dead roots in the pot and we've got oxygen in the pot and there's still some space back here, but that won't make it long lasting. That just means we have maybe another six months, but we don't want to go there. We want to get into this pot. This pot specifically in my collection has now not been repotted for three years. It is high noon. It is go time. But what these bubbles are telling me is there is still space in the pot that the existing roots in there have not actually been suffocated out. There is still a chance that we have a good, healthy root system with viable roots combined with dead roots. So that's great. There was still oxygen exchange, but you can see how little the water receded initially. So great root system is what I anticipate in this pot. And well, it's going to be a long repot session, which I will obviously film in another video because not everybody wants to be watching videos of repottings. But here is the information. Another example of what I see based on the fact that I need to repot this orchid and what I can expect. And I hope that this is helpful and maybe encourages you to get away from clear containers towards something a little bit more decorative without actually having a visual of what your roots are doing in the pot. These little checklists, these little examples are also very, very useful any time of the year if there's any doubt. That's why I'm putting separate clips out so that you can have a look-see and then also compare every once in a while with your collection. Even if your orchid doesn't need a repot, this is a great way to see how healthy is my pot? How are my roots doing in here? Is there a lot of bubbling? Is there a lot of gargling? That means everything is perfectly fine in your pot. In this case, we are gonna go in. The video will come out at some point in time. Let me know if you have any, any questions when it comes to this subject. There are so many different variables, so many different examples, and I'll be happy to address every example or question individually, because before I get around to doing all my repottings, well, ask away. Really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a beautiful day. One condition though, you stay safe, please. Take care. Bye.